Happy birthday, Taurus, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate both your viewership as well as your subscriptions, okay? So what I'd like to do for you, Taurus, is to engage you in a discussion with your ex, okay? And to see whether there is anything that you can do to improve circumstances. Okay, and just to simply see what you can expect, okay, between now and the end of June, okay? Rest assured, ladies and gentlemen, that this reading, as with any other reading, simply will not and may not resonate with each and every one of you out there. But for those for whom this reading is meant, I certainly hope it offers you the valuable information that you're seeking so that you can make your best decision when it comes to this X. Okay? So with that said, I've decided to use my zombie tarot deck today in order to illustrate your reading. And we're going to start off by just sharing with you what I'm seeing as the overarching theme pervading your reading. Then I'm going to discuss with you the situation that I'm seeing that's, that you're facing and to share with you the challenges associated with that situation should you wish to return to this ex, okay? If this reading resonates with you guys, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with others to whom you think might benefit, and be sure to press that subscription button so that you receive all future readings. Okay, so let's go on and just shuffle up and see. Spirit, the situation is Taurus's relationship with the ex, or perhaps lack thereof. <laughs> let's see what what messages should I share with Taurus in regards to this time. For this particular time period in question here. So what messages, Spirit, would you like for me to share with Taurus for this specific time period in question? Okay. Taurus, I'm going to first, as I said, I'm going to select a few cards um, from the bottom of the deck here. So I can just give you some indication of what the overarching energy might be in your situation here. So let's go on and just select a few cards. We have the seven of cups here. Okay. We also have the tower. Wow. Okay. And last but not least, we have the emperor. Okay. Let me just set these down here. All right. So let's just first... Let's just do a reading, just looking at the numbers here. We have the number seven, okay? And then we have this tower here, which, which breaks down to number eight, okay? Because one plus six, actually it's seven here. So it's both seven, okay? But it's, And then we have the number four here. So it's certainly suggesting to you that choices need to be made here, okay? And in order for you to make these choices, you really simply need to find a, a new way of doing things to move forward, okay? And by doing so, this would help you establish the stability and structure that you seek, but you must be realistic, okay, to produce tangible results here because you have this, you have that seven of cups there, ladies and gentlemen, and that's a cup that's, I mean, a card that makes one, it makes it hard for a person to see the forest from the trees, if you will, okay? So what I'm saying here, just to just, you know, give you more specifics here, we see that your focus card, ladies and gentlemen, is the tower, okay? So this card urges you to detach yourself from a very toxic type situation, you know, with this ex. Because it seems that this ex was involved in a lot of different types of 
things that you that's I feel that is contrary to many of your beliefs here I'm getting. Especially you high vibes out there. Okay? But I'm seeing that because you have that tower, it certainly brings about a dramatic change. One that will cause you to have a painful re revelation about your ex here. Okay? And I feel that you guys have, have been really procrastinating in making a decision here due to, it looks like, your ambivalent feelings or just simply lack of focus and unrealistic expectation of what uh, this connection with this ex will or can produce, okay? But rest assured here, I'm seeing that There certainly is still some cheating, an element of cheating or infidelity that's in, involved in your situation here, either you or with this ex, okay? And more than likely, <laughs> unfortunately, the same shit probably is going to happen all over again and should you reconnect if you don't heed the advice that I'm about to tell you here. I feel that some of you just have, it looks like you just have too many options. And really going back to just testing the waters might not even be worthwhile for some of you. Because I'm feeling that I feel that this ex is a tyrant at best, a very competitive, very direct, egotistical type, forceful type person who really wants to be in control. And this person seems to have a major influence over you in some way, I'm getting. Okay. This ex seems to be someone who appears to to have a, a powerful effect over you, as I said. And this person might even have a high position, and which is why you might feel the way that you feel about this person, okay? So we have fire signs. We have water signs here that's connected here with your bottom energy, all right? Rest assured, though, that this person is certainly returning, but I just feel that some type of a secret wants to be shared or it's going to come out, okay? But if you want to improve things, okay, you're going to have to let go of the past, all right? So why don't we go on and just, um, and, and really surrender uh, unrealistic expectations here, I'm feeling here. So let's go on and just get right into your reading, ladies and gentlemen, and just Select, select a few cards from the top of the deck just to kind of get more in tune with your situation and what challenges may be associated with your situation. So let's pull two more cards. We have the chariot. Okay. It's a very good card, right? And then we have, wow, the empress. Okay. So... The chariot is, is associated, once again, with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. So I feel that, you know, it looks like that your problems seem to be major, okay? And destiny seems to be running its course with you guys. But I feel that part of the problem with your situation may be an ingrained insist insistence, if you will, on perhaps constantly being independent. And this might be something you are doing or something your ex wants or this is what, how he or she wants to be represented in your situation here. And keep in mind, Taurus, if this reading is resonating, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with others to whom you think might benefit, and be sure to press that subscription button, okay? So I feel that despite what might be happening, However, your situation also seems to incite, ladies and gentlemen, a battle of wills, if you will. Either you or perhaps your ex seem to have a strong internal desire to resolve things. As equally interesting, I'm seeing here, we have the chariot. Okay. And this represents your situation here. So this card tells us, quite frankly, who will be in the boss position 
And to what extent that that person will be the boss? This appears to be an important corollary question I'm getting. Particularly to what we've indicated from the onset here, okay? Taurus, understand here that I'm, I'm kind of picking up strongly that you certainly do have the discipline that's required to make this informed decision. And your challenge seems to be, ladies and gentlemen, because you have this empress here, it is to recognize, okay, that while it may seem you are in a stalemated situation, okay, this is really only one part of a cycle that will soon turn out to be more satisfying for some of you, okay? Understand, too, that success could come with someone with whom you are already um, kind of dealing, all right? An existing partner, okay? I'm also getting a strong indication too, Taurus, is that um, I'm, I'm picking up here too that, of course, with the Empress, this connects with, with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, just as yourself, okay? And this card really asks you, how can you, Taurus, plant new seeds for a flourishing harvest? The challenges associated with this card is surrendering your refusal to grow with this act. Or perhaps your preoccupation with the acquisition of money or lack thereof. Or you will be challenged with depression or perhaps promiscuity. Either you're doing it or your ex or someone might even be in fact prostituting. Or some of you might even have the proclivity, either you or your ex, it could be vice versa, understand this, or just making an attempt to just be with someone simply for sex only or just for the benefits that being with that person might bring you. Other aspects that can challenge you is that you're being selfish or judgmental and unsupportive or perhaps some of you may have a problem with smotherhood, okay? Or being too emotionally needed, okay? Or having the inability to kind of just let things go and stop rehashing things that, you know, that's been in the past here. If you've taken some time to have that discussion here, all right? And although there might, be delays along the way. Um, I feel that if the two of you really want this to work, it can. But you have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, that you have, once again, the Seven of Cups here. You have to change your way of viewing things. Perhaps see things from maybe a more childlike point of view here. Surrender all of these different options that you have. That's why you're so scattered. Okay? The problem is your vision for what you really kind of want or hoping this relationship to produce some kind of getting. Again, I'm kind of feeling and many of you are a bit scattered. Um, and, and you just seem to be a bit torn between too many directions, which means there may be several acts that might come into view. But rest assured, they all seem to be very controlling, I'm getting. And some might be heavily influenced by drugs or even alcohol. Okay, so it's really time for you, Taurus, to really sort out your feelings and make a realistic decision. Try to contemplate what's really best for you here, okay? And with doing so, you're going to have to let go of, you know, unrealistic expectations here, okay? Because there could be false promises made along the way with this act, all right? And some of you, once again, might want this relationship simply as a matter of convenience or the ex might want to return to you because you provide, you're a provider, perhaps, all right? 
So why don't I do this? I'm going to go on and just take out my magic tablets of 20, of 200 letters here. Because it, because you have so many X's that I'm, I see here that might be coming back towards you. There are always one here. There might be all of them <laughs> based on this reading that you might want to, around whom you might want to be a bit more vigilant. Okay, so let's select those 20 letters to at least help you, Tar. Unmask these people around whom you just want to be a bit more cautious, okay? Or if you do get back with this person, you might not want to let your heart go too much. All right, so let's see. 20 letters, spirit, to 20 letters for Taurus, okay? Give me 20 letters. And Taurus, keep in mind if this reading resonates for you, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share it with others to whom you think might benefit, and be sure to press that subscription button so that you guys receive all future readings. So let's see what we have. We have a G, okay, a P, an O, an R, and Taurus, if your name appears here, it means that you're being your own worst enemy. We have an I, and likely your name might because you have that seven of cups here and that shows you being your own worst enemy. So we have another I. A W, an O, another O, E, J. We have a blank tablet here, which means, Taurus, you could select whatever letter that you want if it completes a whole name for you. Okay, we have a U. We also have a D, and we have an I. So I'm going to count these just to see how many we have so far. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. So Spirit, we need five more letters. Give us five more letters for Taurus. And Taurus, I certainly hope that you guys are enjoying your birthday period. I know it just started, but I do hope that you have plans already scheduled. Okay, let's give you these five more letters. We have an S, an L, a T, a K, and the last letter, Taurus, we have an R. So I'm going to call these back to you just to make sure that each and every one of you has these. It could spell out a nickname or just a name, Taurus, that can at least help you unmask who these Snakes might be. <laughs> Let's see. You know, we have the blank letter here. And we have three O's. Okay. There are three I's. Okay. One K. One D. There are two R's. A G. We have an E. A W. A U. An S. P, J, T, as well as an L, Taurus, all right? So I'm going to go on and just take out another deck here just to give you some indication, Taurus, of things that you might want to consider surrendering and transforming moving forward. I'm, and, and I can't emphasize this enough. Some of the things that I may have already said may come out again in these cards. So I'm going to give you Five more messages here from this deck to give you some indication of other areas or other things that you might want to consider surrendering as you transform this experience with your ex. Okay, so let's see here. Let's select five messages from this deck here. Give me five messages for Taurus. Five messages. All right, let's see what we have. It's time that you surrender to creativity. I can't stress it any more than what I have already done. So we need to find new ways of doing things. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or even to solve this problem that's been plaguing you with this ex. Next message. It's time that you surrender to your full power. Just as you see this lion here in this picture here, 
or, or the symbolism here, he's very courageous. Understand that your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than continuing to play it small. Next message. Surrender to play. It's time that you take a break from overthinking a goal or perhaps even a situation with your ex. Do something fun. Understand that play is certainly a time of recreation as well as rejuvenation. Next message. Surrender your fear of change. That's very important. Take a ride on this horse here. Understand that the universe is certainly reminding you, Taurus, that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of change in your job or afraid of change in your health or, of course, with this situation with your ex. Repeat the affirmation. I have faith that all is well. And last message with these cards. It's time that you surrender frustration. Understand that frustration does not open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or, in fact, dissolving a block is to take a breath. Center yourself and regroup so you may approach the situation a bit more calmly than what you've been accustomed to doing. Okay? So now, Taurus, in conclusion today, I'd like to just leave you with a message here. And I'm going to get up and get my box of my other oracle cards here. Just one second. Here we go, Taurus. So I'm going to give you some closing messages again on how you might bring more love into your situation, how you could be more resilient, okay? And how you can offer a bit more kindness than what you've been associate, uh, accustomed to doing. So I'm going to go on and just shuffle up here. Spirit, give me four more closing messages to share with Taurus. And Taurus, again, this reading is valid until the end of June. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share it with others to whom you think might benefit. And be sure to press that subscription button, okay? So, Spirit, give me four closing messages here for Taurus today. Okay, let's see. You are never stuck, Taurus. Even if you think you are. With this seven here, not being able to... to that seven of cups that you had in your reading, you haven't... An inability to really see the forest from the trees. This message today is telling you that even when you think you're stuck, you're actually connected to a highly dynamic world. Everything in the universe is continually shifting in response to everything else in the universe. You are always changing. Everything around you is always changing and our constant changes are, in fact, interacting. Next message. Melt it, melt it with love. See people in the events of today with a loving gaze. Which is to say, melt your doubts with the benefit of love. Next message. Open wide open. I'm sorry. Eyes wide open. Love. You don't need to know how you're going to solve the problem with this ex Taurus, but facing it with an open mind is how we navigate with presence. And last message today, Taurus, understand that being fully human is a spiritual transformation. Okay, so Taurus, this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has offered food for thought. Be sure to like and share. Subscribe if you've yet to subscribe. Send me over your comments. If you'd like to have a more personalized reading, you can certainly 
access my website to schedule your reading there, or you can send an email. Thanks a lot for viewing, and I look forward to hearing your comments. Enjoy your day.